Hey guys, Mike Roller here. This is going to be a video on natural makeup. How to make yourself look like you're not wearing makeup, but wearing makeup still. Um, just so you look fresh and not like, you know, yucky and draggy. Okay? So, <laughs> if you want to see what I do, please keep watching. Okay, so I kind of already have like a nat... No, I do. I have natural makeup on right now. So I'm pretty much just going to recreate this. So I'm going to take a makeup wipe and scrub everything off my face. Okay, so now hopefully you can see um, <coughs> the difference between me with natural makeup on and then me with nothing on. I think it's like night and day because I hate the way I look without makeup. But whatever. So first what I'm going to do is you don't even have to spend like money on like high end um, high end product. What you need is now me myself, I do spend a decent amount of money on my foundation, but Revlon Color Stay do does make a really, really good foundation, which is comparable to Max. But I like Max. Now, in my opinion, um, stippling. I'm looking for a mirror. Stippling is the best way to get a natural skin look because it gives you that really nice airbrush look. Okay, so for me, I don't always need concealer, but I do have, um, at least well, I feel that I have a little bit of bags under my eyes, and I'm using Max Select Cover Up. You want to drop the top. Um, okay, so next up we're going to do our brows. Now, I have a brow video, but I swear I think I change how I do my brows at least once a week. <laughs> but I do change it rather uh, rather often. So, okay, so now that I have my brows on, um, when you're doing natural, um, I think that you should make your brows a little more thicker than you usually would. But whatever. That's just me. Now I'm going to take my face powder. Now I do this. Will I shake the camera? I do this after I do my brows because I sometimes put my brows on a little too dark or I don't want my brows getting too light from my face powder. I use Max Prep and Prime transparent powder. Um, I like the way a transparent powder looks rather than um, a colored powder because then I just feel like it's way too harsh and I use a really big fluffy face powder brush put this all on and make sure you get it under your eyes as well. Okay, now I'm going to contour. Um, for contouring, I'm going to use um, Max Accentuate and Sculpt. It's a sculpting powder duo, but all you need is a highlight powder. So you take the highlight powder, put it on like you would put any other highlight powder, and then you're just going to contour. Now, I don't contour very heavy, because I myself have mm, fairly nice cheekbones, but I don't always contour because of that. Um, but if you're going to do a natural makeup, I suggest that you contour. Okay? So I'm going to contour. So, um, for blush, I'm using, actually, this is a contour powder. It's not really a blush, but I do think, yeah, MAC, it's MAC. It's called Blunt MAC. And Max sells it as a blush. But anyway, um, I think when doing natural makeup, brown is always a nice blush. Or something very soft and pink. But for me, I like brown. Right between your highlighting. Okay, so now for the eyes. <coughs> eyes. Um, what you're going to start off with is you're going to start off with a primer. But not Urban Decay Primer Potion. Or any primer po any sort of primer that's like that. You want something that's creamy, something that's not gonna dry and be really sticky. Um, Max Paley Paint Pot is a really good one. So is Detour Cosmetics Primer. I'm going to use Detour. I'm gonna put that all over my eye, and yeah, just all over my eye. And I'm gonna put it all over my eye, all the way up to the brow bone. Now. The new primer from Dead Devour, definitely a thousand, not a thousand, but definitely a lot better. There's absolutely no color change whatsoever. The original one did give you a little bit of a yellowing, but still you couldn't see it on when you put the shadow on, but 
I mean, you don't even, I don't even look like I have it on right now. And it's on. Love this stuff. But definitely something where you, it's close to your skin tone, that it matches your foundation, something like that. Um, Bisque from MAC is mine. And also Porcelain from Detour Cosmetics is my other one. Um, and I'm just going to put that, use my fingers, and put that all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. And this is just to make your lid look nice and clean and, you know, soft. Okay, and then you're going to take a highlight color. I'm going to take um, one of my other duos, and I have Bone Beige and Emphasize. I don't know which one is which. I've heard this is Bone Beige and this is Emphasize, but then I've also heard... I don't know, I'll find out when I start working back. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that. It's a little too much, actually. And I'm going to put... That's because the primer was on that finger. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take that, and I'm just going to gently put it right underneath my brow. And it just gives a little, like, highlight, but very, very delicately. Not a whole bunch. You also want to take a little and pop it in your inner corner, just to open up your eye. Okay, now I'm going to take a brown, or a black, but I'm just going to use brown not waterproof mascara. It would give your brows much more of a natural, and your lashes much more of a natural. Okay, now I'm going to line my lips with a red liner. Yep, like this. Okay, <clears throat> now you're going to take a really creamy, really nude look. Okay, and now I'm just taking this Dazzle Gloss from MAC. You just need something glossy. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you could tell the difference between the beginning of the video and then the end of the video. I didn't take a picture of me with no makeup on. And okay, so I bumped up the look a little bit to make it look like I'm wearing a little makeup. Um, I took Honesty from MAC, which is just a very shimmery light brown color. It's on my finger there if you can see it. I know my camera stinks. Um, Treason from Det Devore would be a really good um, dupe for that. It's really shimmery and it has a little bit of a peachy brown color to it. It looks a lot different on the it's a luster. It looks a lot different from what it is in here to here. Um, I have Treason Right here. No, that's not crazy. Hold on, I'm coming. This is treason. If you can see that. Put it on my finger. Really shimmery. And it has like a peachy color to it. Actually, this is much more shimmery than, than honesty. But it's, it's I like it. More, I should have used that. Ugh. So yeah, honesty and treason. Very, very close. Very, very nice. So yeah, I put that on my lid, and then I just took it and I put a little underneath my eye there. I use my fingers, I'm not using brushes. And then, um, I took a pair of lashes. I got these Pinkies Pro Professional Touch. Natural, lightweight, comfortable, easy to apply, 100% human hair. Guys, these are the best lashes I think I've ever worn. Um, I've just recently got really into lashes. Um, Red Cherry, very comfortable, so are MAC, but they're way too expensive. Um, but yeah. They're really soft. Like, the band isn't stiff and hard and plasticky at all. And I don't even feel them as I blink. They're really nice. So, put a pair of nice lashes on. And then put black eyeliner in your upper waterline. Just to darken up the area and so you don't see any space. And take a little bit of mascara just to integrate your lashes. So, yeah. I didn't put eyeliner on. Hopefully they're straight. can't see unless I take a picture. But... I think they are. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, that's it. Have a good night, guys. Have a good week. Please keep rocking.